what's up everybody it's been a while that we did some cool stuff like building dabs and all that i can assure you <laughs> working tirelessly to produce a lot of content you know for for premium and also for free content as well so uh you know all that will be available and once it's available you're gonna see sufficiently enough use cases that you know encompasses multiple parts of web trade development so you know you've got to stay tight for that and you know look out for that by the way today i want to just show you something really simple which uh once you get this part really good you'll be able to uh quickly advance your works on developing uh smart contracts i mean and also developing your food app okay what is it that i want to share with you i want to show you how to set up your web trip project your react web trip project maybe i will shoot on that video on how to set up your next js web trip project for this example you are about to learn next uh, uh, setting up of what a web tree react js project so smash that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will not miss out any of the release on this channel if you've done that then let's get into the tutorial okay the first thing that you need to get is a node.js you need node.js installed on your machine without node.js you can't really do anything with this so it is on a good shareable node.js is the thing so you just have to look for the version that is compatible with your operating system okay and then install it windows mac os or any other computer that you're using or your os make sure you have node.js installed you know that is super important after that you need to install git bash you need git bash installed because most of the things that we're going to be doing on the computer like terminal stuff you know getting some command line interface things you need git bash for that it's so much better yeah, it's so much better than a regular command line interface so you need git bash installed once you do that you will need to open your terminal and confirm that all those installations have been made successfully First of all, you need to move into your site directory, which is like your your working directory. So I have my name site and you can call yours, whatever you need. So this is, you know, checking out the version of the operating system uh, of Node.js that I'm using. You can see that version right there, 16.17. And you can see the version of Git Bash, which is version 2.0. 15 you need all those installed and you can validate that they are all installed so the next thing now is to grab my starter kit which i have actually installed all the essential things essential plugins that you will need uh, and packages that you need in this application and i just recently fixed a little uh stuff on it and you can check it out right there so you make sure that you get this tailwind eater starter kit which is very essential it comes with uh, react tailwind and a hard hat all of those are installed in it so you really need it to move forward okay and so you copy the url of that uh starter kit and on your working directory you you gonna have to clone this application okay okay so let us clone this project so make sure that you are on this site folder or your working directory so that you won't you know miss out where you installed it so you do git clone and then you paste in the the locate the the URL where the repository that you're trying to clone is, which is this link, and then you can give it an alias because if you don't give it an alias, it actually just uses this name here. So I want to give it DAP Lottery, DAP Lottery. Come on, Lottery. Okay, and then click. Say okay. I think I already have something like this. So uh, let me use a different name. Uh, DAP lottery test all right and then I click on clone and it goes ahead and then clones it 
all right so i come to this place say cd into what that dab lottery okay uh, tests all right i'm inside that location right now then i open it in vs code and that should open my work in vs code and i don't have any reason being here anymore so i'm just going to close this and of course i'm going to go ahead and remove one of the things you must take note of is this okay this is the project here that lottery test so i'm going to go inside remove this git repository okay this git repository comes with mine i don't know if it actually get downloaded if another user does that but whenever i download this i get to manually remove this so that it will not conflict with all my file setup so that is off now so i'm going to come here and run you through some of the information that you need to know about this okay so these are like the essential you know modules that are needed for you to run a web tree project okay and the reason why i need to configure it like this because the bare bone react project could be very very uh, problematic when it comes to accepting some of these packages the way they are you know especially i had issues when i was dealing with ipfs clients you know i had some issues with you know hard hat in some of the react uh packages so i had to like have all these things installed and made it a, a a starter kit out of it so that i won't have to go through the process of testing and trying multiple packages i can just work with the one that works for me so these are the packages we are using react uh, uh rewired to be the be what we start up this project which is actually configured here so all of this configuration you can see this crypto stream asset http all these things are setups that are using these particular libraries which you can see here these are the libraries that i'm using you see this crypto you see this dot uh, m you see this http browser mnemonic os browser all these things are very instrumental to make sure that all of the packages that we need to run our web3 project is functional great so with that known and i want you to understand that this here is the hard hat setup so i already gone ahead and set up hard hat so that it will not be an issue for you to run your application so you can see that i have um the contract location this contract location is where i keep all my smart contracts so my smart contracts they run they, they are kept in this particular location in the sruc and then slash contract which i haven't created and then this one this artifact is basically where all your abis are going to be living so once this is compiled it's going to what compile the bytecode into this location that is what it means and this is your local nest network this is just local host and it's running on port 8545 all right so this is what it's this configuration to run your smart uh, your blockchain server all right so these are just all the dummy information this is tailwind to set up tailwind for you properly on this on this project so everything is okay as it is you know including the scripts you know for deploying your smart contract all you just need to do is to what uh, come here and put the name of your smart contract here just the way it is and then you'll be able to run deployment and all of that make sure you watch all of my videos to see how i use this particular package to run my application to run my web tree app so we just state said right now we need to install all these packages that are in this package dependency uh, this package.json here right now so how you do that you just need to do if you are using yarn all you just need to do is yarn install all right but if you're using npm you can use npm install as well all right but i'm going to use yarn because i'm I, yarn is much cleaner i'm going to say yarn yarn install so i'm going to run this and this could take a while to install so i'm going to go ahead and pause this okay and then come back once it's once it is done and you know we can continue it from there okay as you can see the installation is successful and the yarn lock has been created generated for us and everything we're just going to start up this application right now by using yarn start click start so it goes about and you can see hello truffle and tailwind 
uh, though it's not supposed to be truffle, so it just a little bleach this uh, um, in the app.js. I could just change this to hard hat and save that. Check it on the browser. I see everything works just great out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna add up a little bit of extra um, parts to this application. Let's just do like a dummy. Uh, front end stuff basically there is no back end stuff about this just the front end stuff to just show you how it works under the hood so right now i'm going to first of all quit this server and i'm going to just uh go to my code here downloads yep this here i'm going to open this right i have all these files here so i'm going to copy it copy and come to this particular project which is this here i'm going to delete you know i'm just going to delete everything in this sroc folder so i'm going to delete that move that to the bin because this one has the files that i'm looking for so i'm pasting these items here okay uh these items are like front end works that i've been that was built okay for my lottery application that is coming up web tree base it's called dap lottery so it's gonna be uh part of the course courses i'm releasing so say yarn start and let's just watch it start up okay look at that mm. all right so this is how it is just the basic front end stuff and click on this you'll be able to pick lottery you know and it's just the basic stuff you see the numbers and all that so this is basically how you write um a how you you, you use uh, how you set, set up your project your web tree project using react and all that you know hope you got ton of values from this uh today and if you do you know hit and smash that like and notification bell okay and one more thing before i go uh, many of you kind of like ask me a lot uh, questions and all that i don't often have time to answer people you know code related questions but i have like um let me buy, buy me a coffee that mentors you know buy me a copy coffee page where you can if you want my book you can get my book there if you want okay let me show that right here so for example this is my book if you want my book you, you can get this book here uh it's called capturing smart contract development and you can get that book and you know read it study and improve yourself in web tree development i'm kind of waiting for the image to load up here and also i also have some services as well Okay, look at the book here. All right, so I also have some services that you might want to be interested in, which are, you know, my consultancy uh, service. Yeah, my, my consultancy service, whether you need help, you know, resolving issues or want advice on your Web3 project, you know, that you can actually hook up with me here and then book a session there with me and then I could help you out with your problems okay and i have web three classes if you want me to teach you personally right now the slots are not much so if you want to be that guy that one that had that lucky chance you can actually sign up for this one or my hourly development services if you want me to build you some kind of a fantastic uh uh, project web tree project you know you can also get with me here and of course there are room for other kinds of you know agreements you understand so basically this is this is this is it for this tutorial today and that is it you have your work fully functional here and hope this brings so much value to you and if it does make sure you smash that like and subscribe button hit that notification bell and i will see you in the next uh tutorial all right till then have a nice day